Caroline is now playing live in Amsterdam. And basically, everything has its own individual volume control. And the levels are brought up here so we can see what we're doing, so we don't overload any amplifiers in the way to the transmitter. Uh, two turntable pots are here, and volume controls for the cartridge machines, volume controls for the next studio in there, which we can bring in, our microphone, the news microphone, monitor. And uh, basically, we can cue up the records by listening on this other channel, which is more or less a spare channel, so we can find the beginning of records. As you see also, we have remote controls here that we can start the turntables with remotely. Um, we have another option on here too, where we can listen either off the air or off the panel. You'll hear there's quite a difference here. Processed, of course, for a very small four-inch speaker. This is cheating here, this JBL. Uh, it's an easy board to operate, or desk, and this is very common in the States. It's an old tube unit or a valve unit, but it, it's very common in the States. You see these all over the place. There's the name there, Gates. When it leaves the studio, it goes down into the transmitter room, just parallel wires and a shielded cable. It hits a box called an Optimod, which is nothing more than a modified limiter and compressor. What it does is makes the sound more dense. It takes out this motion in the VU meter. It compresses it to where it almost stands still. It doesn't even look like audio coming out. But what it does is make the signal actually louder on a small radio. That's the advantage of having the black box called the Optimod. It's a magic box to a lot of people. Everybody has something similar to it, but a lot of people think Optimod's the best. Most transmitters are pretty close to the same as far as frequency response, and as you know, most radios vary from one model to the other. So what you do is just try to tune it in for the best medium of, of the radios, for the extreme smallest to the extreme largest. And we stretch it a little bit sometimes. Sometimes we have a little bit too much high end, but... For those of you who know about transmitters and plate modulated transmitters, the Amplophase works on a system to where you don't need a modulation transformer. It basically splits the RF signal up and divides it into 135 degrees out of phase with each other, sends it through the two PA cavities separately, 135 degrees out of phase. And the cancellation or the addition creates the amplitude modulation in a combiner stage, and that goes through the antenna and on out into the radios. It's an efficient system.